Welcome to your dashboard. Today I'm bringing to you a four bedroom house on a private compound with a beautiful compound. You will hear the birds chirping, people talking, babies crying, building happening all behind me to give you the sounds of a craw. On this compound, you see that it takes up a nice bit of space. There's plenty of space to park cars. There's a yard there allowing for children to play. There's a nice, what they call a summer hut uh, right there in front of you where you can put patio furniture. I'm sharing this property with you because it's below your budget. It meets some of the requirements you have on your checklist and is located in the red top area of Batiano. It's a nice house. It's not the biggest house, but it's nice. There's not much that needs to be done, if anything. Of course, if you don't like the wallpaper on the walls, which honestly I did not, and I asked if it could be taken off, and they said you can take it off if you want to and if you can paint if you like. It's your choice. There is a large front porch, which you're looking at from the outside here. Later on, I'll show you the inside of that uh, front door so you can see uh, the exit from the front door. Right there is the gate, entry gate into the compound, and we're walking right past the side door that leads into the kitchen. Straight ahead is where you have your septic tanks that are inside of the ground, and then you have a uh, poly tank. So this is one large poly tank, and then there's another reserve one on the side there. Uh, the back of the house is very close to the wall itself, which is typical for Ghanaian homes. Uh, this entire compound is um, secured with barbed wire fencing that has an electrical unit attached to it. So it's a pretty secure space. I wanted to share this one because it's one of the ones that we found that just has such a lovely compound. And the house itself was, was, was good. Uh, not great, but good. The kitchen is small, but the kitchen is modern. And modern kitchens uh, sometimes aren't too easy to find. <laughs> so I thought I'd share this one. Remember, you don't have to like this house at all. I just want to share with you what we've been finding. And so far, this is the best one. And it's below your price point. But we will be looking for units at your price point as well. This is the living area. This is the living room. As you can see, the security bars have a design, so they don't seem as um, restrictive as most security bars. Uh, there is uh, lots of light in this living room, but some of the lights fixtures haven't been installed or they've been removed. Each room is outfitted with the ability to hook up AC. There is no AC in the unit right now. What you're looking at here is the formal dining room. So the former dining room looks right out into the main compound where you see the summer house and the yard. Then this door here leads back to where the bedrooms are and the bathrooms. Now in traditional Ghana style, there's always more than one person showing us the house so you will see extra people. There are curtains up here. I'm not sure why they're still there, but they can be removed with no problem. Some of the rooms have ceiling fans installed, some do not. This particular room has a ceiling fan and an ensuite bathroom. The ensuite has a toilet, stand up shower, and a sink. At the time of viewing the property, uh, the electricity was not uh, on in the unit at the time because it needs the credit to top up, and no one's living here, so it doesn't have the credit to top up. Um, this is the another bedroom. In this bedroom, you see the wallpaper. I'm sorry, folks, on the wallpaper. I was just shocked by it, and I wanted to know if it could be removed. <laughs> so the wallpaper is there, and this bedroom also has an ensuite. And you have the sink, toilet, and the shower as well. This unit rents for around $430, that's 2,200 Ghana CDs at time of conversion. Let's go ahead back down the hallway. And we go into the third bedroom. The third bedroom has an ensuite as well, so each bedroom essentially has its own bathroom. Uh, sorry about the brightness. Because of the way the electricity was or was not 
uh, the light on the camera had to be turned on. So uh, this is the third bedroom with bathroom. Across from that is a storage room and or a room where you can put your washing machine because it's outfitted with the plumbing for a washing machine. So it could be a small laundry room if you so choose. The last room of the house all the way to the back is the master bedroom. The master bedroom is long and narrow, so it has a ability to have a king size bed. Um, you can also have a nice seating area in here and it has an ensuite bath with a bonus of a lovely bathtub, which is especially a bathtub like this is kind of rare to find in, in the ensuite bathroom. Um, this is another reason why I shared it because the bathtub just kind of caught my attention and I thought it might be something that you might like but you do not have to like this property at all. Just wanted to share it with you because it was below budget and it meet, met many of the criteria you had on your list. You see an opening there in the bathtub. Almost every last one of these houses you'll see is that they'll have a small opening where the tub is for the plumbing. Um, I'm not really sure why they don't cover it, but they don't. Um, however, this master bedroom allows in a ton of natural light because of the way the windows are. Uh, installed and the direction in which the house face. So we wanted to share this house with you because of the fact that it's such a cute home in the Batiano area that allows for a lot of growth for a family. Now here is the front door when you're looking at it from the living room. I went ahead and opened the door so you can see that large front like porch area where you can have a nice seating um, arrangement for you. Um, there were some torrential storms that came through the night before so there's still some puddles here and there but there is no water damage in this house which is a positive. Um, so let me know how you feel about this and we'll bring you more.